Today, I want to talk to you about why you should buy experiences, not buy things. It's a very funny fact. Buying experiences and buying things, those are two different things, but most people end up buying things instead of experiences. And here is where you go wrong. I want to give you a short story. In 2008, I bought my first car, which was a Mini Morris, the small Mr. Bean kind of a car. And um, I was so much excited, I was so happy. I had bought my first car. I called all my friends and told them, hey, I bought a car, come and let's rejoice, let's have fun, let's um, celebrate all this. And my friends came for two, three days. We, we were so happy, we celebrated, we had a good time. And uh, within the week, some friends started making jokes and uh, some laughing and telling me, <laughs> Keith, you bought a very funny car. It looks like a scooter. You know, it's that funny car which looks like the Mr. Bean kind of car. Very small and uh, tiny, let me use that word. And others were telling me, Keith, this guy is just a joke. It's, it's so many names. They call me names and all that. And I was like, guys, you don't realize I spend a lot of money and that's all I could afford to buy this car. And uh, one of the friends told me, Keith, if you want people to appreciate and to respect what you bought, then buy a real car. This is not a real car. So buy something better. So two years uh, later, I hustled even much harder and I bought a sedan, just a normal Toyota Corolla. And uh, I, I called my friends and told them, hey guys, I now have bought a serious car. I bought something which I'm sure all of us will celebrate. Last time you told me I had a joke, now this time I have a serious car. So uh, we celebrated just as usual, we went for some road trips, we had a good time and everything was fine. But uh, one week later, people stopped celebrating and they started telling me, Keith, uh, we're really tired of celebrating this car. If you want people to celebrate for sure and to be happy for sure, and for you to uh, feel exactly you've bought something, then buy a serious machine. Everybody has a sedan. Buy a serious machine. Buy a serious car. I was like, mm, that maybe makes sense. So I hustled even harder and harder and harder. And four years down the line after that, I happened to do some deal somewhere and I bought a Range Rover. And I was like, oh, this is the time. This, this is the time. Everybody's going to talk about this and I'm going to be the happiest man in the estate. I'm going to be the happiest guy with all my friends and they're going to talk about this forever. We're going to be excited. And yes, fine. They came, we, we had some popping, some wine and enjoying and saying, wow, you bought a real car. Let's take some selfies, photos. Let's take some road trips and all that. We had a good, good time with my friends. And just like usual, one week later, when I called my friends, maybe we were hanging out in the house, they could just pass the staircase to my house without even checking the parking lot where the Range Rover is. And they're not even concerned. Like I asked them, hi, how comes you, you no longer guys talk about the car? Do you know how much I spend on this car? You no longer talk about it and it's, it's like you forgot about it. And this is what I came to realize. After buying the small car, buying a sedan, buying a Range Rover, and every day people are telling me, now you don't need, you, you have this car, you need to have even a better one. I thought maybe these guys want me to buy choppers or buy what? For them to be happy or to myself to be happy. And I realized you can never be happy buy things. You can always be happy by buying experiences because all the time that we are always discussing in the house and making jokes and enjoying and reminding each other of different things, I realized one thing, we were always talking about experiences. Never 
in one occasion did we ever talk literally about things even if we talked about things it was just where they arose when we were talking about a certain experience maybe we got stuck in mud somewhere when we had a certain car or something happened and we are literally talking about the experience not the thing the thing so this is what i realized that many people end up trying to find happiness in things when you get into your own house look at your house all the time you'll find there is so much clutter so many things that you've bought two three mobile phones TVs one in the bedroom one in the sitting room you have this and this and this in your house for example you will find there are guys who have so many suits so many clothes that they don't even use they don't even wear Personally, I said one thing. I'm not going to stay with things that I don't use. I'm going to declutter myself. Anything that I don't do, anything that I don't wear, anything that I don't use, I give it out. That is, that's my position. And whenever and the day that I realized this small aspect of buying experiences rather than buying things, my life turned in a very different way. I started to feel so much happy and so much liberated and so much uh, free because I was not pushing to get things. Now, to sum up all this, I want to give you three facts of why you should be able, you should do more instead of buy more. Three things, three facts. Now, point number one, when you buy when you do more than buying more your happiness lasts longer you will get much more happier when you have experiences rather than when you buy things why happiness does not come from things yes it may come from things but it may be for a short period of time for the short period of time you'll be happy you'll be the talk of the town but this happiness is short-lived people will only remember you for something that you bought at that particular time but later on they will never remember neither yourself will you ever remember why because things soon change in quality and they change in value and they change in make and they change in design and all that if you bought an iphone 10 very very soon an iphone 11 will be there iPhone 12, iPhone 13, and if that iPhone is what was making you happy, then your happiness will last as long as the version and the style is there. And as well, the more expensive a thing, a thing is, the faster your happiness will fade. I bought a Range Rover, I felt a huge, you know, loss. I, I spent a lot of money. So the faster these guys stop celebrating, the much I start feeling, oh God, how seriously, how on earth will I spend millions on this and guys don't even look twice anymore. So the much depressed I could get because I spend even much more. So the more expensive a thing cost, the much your happiness and the faster your happiness will fade. Point number two, buying experiences will help you gain valuable definitions of your passion and purpose. Now, when you work hard to buy things, means you have less joy in life. If all your hustle is just to buy a gadget or to buy a certain thing, then it means you have a very short-lived kind of happiness why because buying experience clarifies your passion the moment you say i want to go for a safari i want to buy a ticket for a holiday ticket to some place i want to take my friends for lunch and we go and discuss a certain thing it means you are slowly defining your passions and this passion 
will surely help to guide you towards your life's purpose. The people that you interact with during these events, during this hangout, during these tours that you've taken, during these safaris, during the things that interest you, are soon going to impact your general life and your purpose of life. Hope you're going together. Point number three, you establish stronger social relationships when you buy experiences stronger social relationships. Now, this is basically meaning you will hardly stop. For example, let me just um, put it this way. Have you ever seen somebody who has a BMW, for example, stopping in a highway to chat with someone else who has a BMW so that they can share ideas because they, they, they bought the same car? Never will you find. Maybe if they have had an accident and something like that. But you will find guys who are sharing experiences, who have met at the Great Wall of China, sharing and catching up about exactly how the experience is. They bought the same type of experience and they will share, hey, I was at the Great Wall of China and last year I also went to see the... the, the, the maybe to, to watch something, to have an experience in the World Cup. And I also went here and I experienced this and I went climbing on Mount Everest or I went here. Or maybe whichever experience that you've had, you will see people who share the same kind of experience. Sitting down to analyze and to speak about the same and to even become closer and closer together than people who bought similar gadgets or similar things. So you start, you start to gain stronger social relationships when you buy experiences rather than when you buy things. So guys, what I'm saying today is if you've always been hustling harder to buy things, from today henceforth, try and reverse the same. Try and change and see where can I be able to change? What can I be able to change? And invest much more in experiences. Do more than the way you own more. I hope this one has impacted something into your mind and you've been able to learn something that you had not learned before. So guys, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. You can like, you can share, you can comment, and as well, you can subscribe to this channel. And definitely hit that notification button because I don't want you to miss any video which will be educating you on different life skills and different business skills because every Monday we are posting videos on business. Wednesday we are posting videos on social media marketing and on Fridays, you know Friday is all about travel and having fun and enjoying. So definitely make sure you subscribe. Have a great time. God bless you and be blessed. See you.